Hey guys, happy Sunday. I just got back from church and had an amazing time of worship, worshiping the great I am, our God, our King, our Redeemer. So I've got praise and worship just bubbling over in my heart and my soul. I wanted to take this moment to give God praise for His faithfulness in the area of my workplace, in my job, my career as a realtor. Um, so this was too good for me not to share. Um, on Mother's Day, um, a prospective buyer called me and um, she didn't call me at first. She called other agents, but they didn't answer their phone. So I answered my phone, uh, nerd. <laughs> and like I said, it was Mother's Day. I was um, sitting with um, my oldest son, Jaden, waiting for our rice to be cooked so we could eat. I was so hungry. I hadn't eaten all day, so I didn't really want to uh, do anything for anybody. I was ready to eat. And plus it was Mother's Day. I wanted to spend uninterrupted time with my family, with my son, with my husband. But I, um, as she was speaking on the phone, she sounded um, agitated, irritated, angry, and not happy. And so I was like asking Father, I'm like, Father, is she from you? Did you send her to me? Because if you didn't send her to me, give me discernment. I don't want to waste my time. And this is Mother's Day. I ain't got time to waste. <laughs> so I almost did not want to work with her because I had asked the Lord many times, and my like, Father, please only send me kind, gracious, loving, qualified buyers or sellers. Because, um, you know, if you've done sales, and especially real estate, you meet all kinds of people. There's uh, wonderful, amazing, loving, gracious people, and even, you know, born again Christians that you're bringing away. Then there's also backstabbers and mean people, and betray you within a heartbeat so I spent a lot of um, you know days and nights um, crying my first year in real estate because of the betrayals um, with agents and buyers and things like that but um, so I'm very guarded with who I work with and who I share my time with because I don't want to waste my time and um, I only want to be led of the Lord so anyways, we decided to work together, and on um, the next day, I went and met with her, and um, you can tell there were like uh, tensions and frictions um, uh, there, and I had never met her before, but I'm so glad that we decided to work together because after spending about a half an hour together, the Spirit of God fell and in that new home that she wanted to buy, and we held hands and we prayed and we blessed the Lord, we worshiped the Lord in that house. So we've been working together, not only as clients and, um, you know, relationship, but as friends and as sisters in Christ. Um, the Lord gives her visions, open visions about amazing things like, um, you know, the fire and the glory of God and mighty uh, mountains that's being split in half so she could walk through, so she could climb, uh, you know, these mountains and obstacles um, to achieve her dreams that Father has uh, called her to uh, climb the mountains of faith. And finally, two days ago, we closed on her dream home. So not only is she blessed with her dream home, uh, I love this home, but I'm also blessed by the business that Father brought to me through her. My point of this uh, video is this, sometimes God brings you blessings and packages that you don't want. And we have to um, use discernment to go to the Lord, uh, ask for wisdom, because we can't shun everything that is uncomfortable, that doesn't come in our you know, usual, pleasant, lovely, bright, shiny packages. You know, some comes to us in a rough exterior looking packages you know i could tell she was hurt she was wounded she's angry she felt she was betrayed i learned all of this you know shortly after i met her and the lord impressed upon my heart you know what if i'm bringing her to you because you've been through so many betrayals and you have the mercy understanding compassion and the skills to help her obtain this dream home that i have so uh, the 
point of my video is A, I want to give God my Father glory and honor for the blessings that He's poured upon her life and upon my life but also to encourage, exhort you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, do not reject what God brings into your life just because it makes you feel uncomfortable. His ways are higher than our ways. Amen. So we must trust in the Lord, ask Him for wisdom, ask Him for discernment, and most of all, offer mercy, compassion, understanding, love. Amen. To help our clients, to help our family, our children, our uh, neighbors, or whoever, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, I pray that this um, uh, message uh, blesses you. And um, remember, give God all the glory, honor, and praise. For surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days in my life, of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Give him honor. Give him praise. For he alone is worthy. Hallelujah. God bless you. I love you guys.